at you with yet another DJ's Brew 2 beer review. Well, guys, you know how it goes. Hit my workout in the morning, puttering around the house, doing house chores, all that good stuff. Had a bit of lunch. I said, you know what? I'd like a beer for my reward. You know what? But I don't want anything that's, like, too huge. I don't want to be all crunked out. I want a sessionable beer, but with a lot of flavor. So what am I going to do to take care of that situation? Well, I'm going to go down to Athens, Georgia, and I'm going to hit up Terrapin Beer Company. Now, this is a beer that they just started to distribute in our area. I have to travel up to Baltimore. Bit of a ride for me, but it's rocking, baby. It's not that far. It's only, like, 15 minutes. So what do we've got? We've got their Terrapin Rye Pale Ale. It's a year-round beer for them that's 5.3% uh, ABV and 35 IBUs. Um, they're saying that it's got big rye flavor and it's a sessionable but flavorful American Pale Ale. So, let's get the cap off and see if they're true to their word. Boom, nice hiss off the top. Got our cool Terrapin Crown. I've had some other Terrapin beer. It's been really solid. It was their, uh, I think, oak-aged Hopsecutioner or some mess like that. So... Let's get this in the glass. Looks nice and clear flowing out. Let's see what we got for an appearance. Really lovely amber. Wow, I can smell the hops and the rye wafting off the top of this bad boy from here. Really lo lovely amber color. Super clear. I can see my hand right through it. Um, it's got some deeper tones into it. Sort of like deeper golden amber. Kind of like that clover honey I keep mentioning every once in a while. Um, Really nice looking beer. It had about a finger of a head that's already settled down to um, to a half finger of sort of sudsy, soapy bubbles up at the top and tight around the corners. When I swirl it, no alcohol legs to speak of on a 5.3 percenter, but you do get a little bit of lacing clinging to it. So, you know, not remarkable in that aspect. Give you a look at that. Nice looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. See what we got going on. Spicy rise right up front. Fruity sort of orange hops. A bit of a honey sort of caramel smell. A little bit of breadiness. And a little bit of pineapple to round out the aroma. Not a lot, but some. So we got tropical fruit. It's not really piney or anything like that. Honey sweetness. And then in the front, the forefront, that rye spice. Let's see what we got going on with this bad boy. Hmm. It's kind of thin in the mouthfeel department. The rye is not a bit as big of a player in the taste as it is in the nose of the beer. Um, it's a real sessionable this, it, beer that's quite carbonated, more so than I'm used to, because I, I guess I've been drinking bigger IPAs. Um, the tropical fruits are there. It has a decently dry finish. Um, and... The tropical fruity hops are mainly what you're getting. There is a little tiny bit of pine and a little bit of resinous, but that's way in the background. The dominant flavors are that rye, which isn't huge. It's a it's a subdued rye beer with some spiciness to it. And the, the hops are, I think, could be, be a bit stronger, and the mouthfeel could be better on this beer. It's meant to be a session beer, but I think it's below some of the other standards that I've had. If the beer was a, just a slightly bit bigger, maybe above the 5.3, um, it might be a better beer. Like I've had the um, Righteous Rye from Six Point. That's a better session strength rye beer. That's about a 6%er, somewhere around there, 6, 6.3, something like that, most of them. But And surprisingly, I'm feeling the alcohol warmth in my chest on this for such a light alcohol beer in, I guess, today's terms anyway. But it's not a bad brew. One uh, real redeeming quality is the dates right on the side. And this one is super fresh. It's good till July 2013. And at the time of recording, that means this beer is only a couple few weeks old. So what do the other guys think about it? Beer Advocate's giving it an 87. And Rape Beer's giving it a 92. I'm going to go with a, I think I'm going to go with a B on this one, guys. Its mouthfeel is too thin, and it has presence that, that could be bigger of the hops and the rye, in, in my estimation. I've had session strength beers that are, are hoppy beers or American pale ales, like the Schlafly Dry Hopped American Pale Ale. that has a lot more flavor packed into this, plus they're using rye, which is another flavor booster, and I think those flavors are a bit muted. So I'm going to give it a B, about like an 84, 85, somewhere in that range, but a straight up B. Um, good beer. Give it a try if you can find it. It's not real expensive. It's only like a buck, buck 39, I think, for that single bottle that I bought there. So it's a good deal. If you can find it, give it a try. Remember what I always say, guys. Think globally. 
drink locally, support the craft beer movement, help this thing keep growing. I appreciate each and every one of you. If there's a beer that you want me to review, let me know, and I'll do my best to do so. Thanks a million for tuning in, and until the next time, what's that? Oh, damn, that's a big piece of it.